everyone. I'm Callie Zemikowski. I'm the communications intern with Penn State New Kensington Athletics. And today I'm talking to Janet Surma, a senior on the volleyball team. What made you want to play volleyball at Penn Ken? Yeah, so on my senior night at Burl, I I got really sad, as did everybody else on Burl's team, just because that was probably going to be the last time that any of us played on a school team. So I knew that I was going to Penn State New Kensington, and I was like, well, I might as well play volleyball. It's been a constant in my life, like forever. It's all I know. So I knew that I had to play because it, I would just miss it too much. Something would be empty during the fall. I didn't want to miss out on that. And then a fun little fact is that I actually learned to play volleyball at Penn State New Kensington. When I was younger, they had summer camps. So for five days a week for three hours each day, I would go and do my summer camp. So I started playing here. I'm ending playing here. So I kind of just went full circle with Penn State volleyball. <laughs> what is being a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee that we're on together? What does that mean to you personally? being on that committee? Well, it means a lot, especially because there's only two representatives from each team on that committee. And knowing that one of my coaches actually chose me for that spot and felt like I would be a good uh, representation of the women's volleyball team is pretty amazing. So not only that, but then we get to do a lot of good on campus, in the community. So community service, we're doing a food drive soon. And then we really get to try to enhance the whole student athlete experience. We try to connect with each other, hold events on campus. I know we did the walk a mile in her shoes maybe two years ago. So just being able to do a lot of good in the community on campus is really cool um, and really beneficial for everyone. So it's been pretty awesome being on this committee. So oh, you're the president of Nittany Pride News. How is that going so far this year? I know things are super different with COVID and everything's super remote. That must be hard to, you know, find things to report on on campus and find people to interview. Um, what's that been like? And um, what is it like being involved in two clubs? You said you're involved in three clubs, right? Yes, I recently joined LPH. It's a National Communications Honor Society. So. Yeah, I'm doing three right now. <laughs> the Nittany Pride News has been going absolutely amazing this semester. It's so much more than I could have imagined already. In four weeks, we have put out two editions so far, and we're going really rapidly. And we have another one coming out on Monday the 12th. So we're really aiming for one edition every two weeks, which is a really, really fast pace. But the upside of that is that our staff is constantly giving me more content. Our second edition had 25 pages. This third edition is gonna be 30. Everyone's contributing two to three, maybe even four stories per edition. Um, so we've been doing a lot. The momentum has been absolutely incredible. We currently, I think there's only six of us six of us on our staff so just having that small group but still being able to put out 30 pages per edition is incredible they're doing awesome they're doing so much more than i could have ever asked for them honestly and i'm just excited to keep this momentum going it's been great i'm just i'm just so impressed with it being your senior year and hopefully we will be able to all play in the spring all of all of our sports teams at once what mm -hmm be your ultimate achievement in your sport this year? So I think as a team goal, first of all, I would really like to boost our record. In previous years, our record hasn't really shown the efforts that get put into each and every game. Um, so if you're not at the game, obviously, you just uh, base your opinion on how we played off of the record. And those don't always go together. So I think I would really like to just try to get some more wins in this season, boost that record so then people can really say, oh, uh, Penn State New Ken's small women's volleyball team did amazing this year. And a personal goal for me would just to keep trying to get as many digs as I can. Playing in the back row is my absolute favorite position. I love getting the ball spiked at me and passing it up to my setter. It's my absolute favorite. Um, 
last year I surprised myself with my statistics and how many digs I got. So this year I want to try to get close to what I did last year. I know I won't be able to get more because we're going to have a shorter season, but just trying to get close will know that I definitely pushed myself. So I'm looking forward to that again. It's my favorite thing. So just trying to get as many digs. Are there any additional comments you would like to share with our viewers during your interview? Um, yeah, so like to Penn State students watching this, if you want to join a sport, I highly recommend that you do. I know a lot of freshmen come in and they're worried about balancing academics and athletics, but you shouldn't worry about that because our coaches, the athletic director, the entire athletic staff will work with you. They really care about pushing you to do better in academics anyways, because they always tell us that you're a student athlete, so you're a student first, then you're an athlete. So they really will work with you on that. They want you to do well in school, so don't even worry about that. And also you'll have opportunities to join things like SAC and just really get involved with the campus community and everyone around you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for asking me to do this.